Mario, please just grab all the Bibles and don't worry about anything else with that. You are the I'm going to take your hundred million dollars. Ask yourself. Yes, ma'am. You look like a baby. You sound quite bigger. Yes. You got a big for money. No. Never. What are you turning on? Uh, I'm going to take these cups off the table, please. What are you doing? That's my fault. I don't care. I'm wearing her scarf because the mirror was so jealous that he doesn't have such a super cool scarf that he took it off. Like a chicken parmesan. Like a chicken parmesan, that's right. And a boinga. And a boinga. Yeah. Hmm. Good on one second. And, yeah, we watched from a movie. It was Backyard Again. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk and ice cream, that's gross. Yeah, I never tasted it. 
But before we get started with our lesson today, we're going to do our introductions, and we're going to see how we haven't stopped our friends in two whole weeks, so I'm sure there's lots of things to share, and then we will get into our scripture remembrance, and after we do our scripture remembrance, we'll get into our lesson today. So today we're going to start with this little cutie way down at the end. Introduce Hi. yourself loud enough so they can hear you. Louder. Okay. What's prayer? 
You don't know what prayer is? Nobody, no name, what's prayer? Prayer to the Lord. Yeah, when you talk to the Father, right? And you can communicate with him. Yes, what would you like to share, Arya? Okay, all right. So we, our friends were here last week, so this week we have a new scripture remembrance, which if you want to share this week's scripture remembrance, it's fine. If you want to share two weeks ago scripture remembrance, that's fine too. So who, who, oh, I mean, I'm talking about. Can I say it right now? Okay. So you're going to do this week's uh, scripture now. Go ahead. Stand up. Uh, uh, stand, up. stand up. Introduce yourself. Prince Ward is here. Okay. And what is the scripture memory that you're going to share? I word. I have. Uh, where is it at? Psalms 119, verse 11. Mm-hmm. Thy word have I hid in my heart, so I might not sin against thee. That I might not sin against thee. Good job. And for you, do you remember last week's? The one for you. Which, yeah, the one, the last, last week. Uh, my name is Kofu King, uh, Karate King, and the... And I'm going to read in Galatians 5, 20, 22 and 23. Okay. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no love. Woo! Good job! Hey, Ariel, come. Okay. Oh, ah, ah. okay. Are you going to share the sweet scripture remembrance? Yes. Tell us where it's at. It's Psalms chapter 119, verse 11. Okay. Oh, my God, that's so weird. <laughs> And so when I confronted her, 
she apologized, right? So she said, she, I, I said, hey, did you tell my secret? And she admitted that she told my secret, and she said that she was sorry, and she asked that I forgive her. Um, I'm glad that she said she's sorry, but it doesn't kind of change the fact that my feelings are hurt. And, like, I don't really trust her anymore, right? And that, it's kind of like affecting our friendship. So, should I forgive her? And then I want you guys to tell me why I should or why I shouldn't forgive my friend. You have to raise your hand. Yes? No. Okay, that's a good answer. I should give her, I should forgive her because everybody should be nice. And it's nice to forgive people. That's right. Okay. And, um, Wilson, I mean, no name. Should I forgive my friend? Forgive her, but don't tell her any more secrets. Okay, that's a good idea. Forgive her, but don't tell her any more secrets. Um, Ariel, should I forgive my friend? Yes, you no. should, but if you don't forgive, if your friends or your sisters or your brothers or your cousins or your family, then, and um, Yeshua won't forgive you for your sins. Wow, that's kind of big. That, that definitely won't forgive us for my sins, right? Okay, and Amir. You should forgive her, but don't tell her any more stuff, because then you don't trust her, and she will go out to the whole world, and then you'll stay embarrassed in front of everyone. Yeah, that's not cool. Okay, I like that idea. And come on, I mean, um, uh, Prince Warrior. King, King, Prince Warrior. Prince Warrior. I, I would say to give her, go give her secrets because I did the same thing. Ariel breaks a lot of my stuff and I still showed her everything that I have since I've been in trouble, like my airplane on. Mm-hmm. I showed her my airplane. I thought about it. I was like, you know, I shouldn't be holding stuff against my sister. I let her show my airplane and then she still ruined it. I still forgive her. I'm still going to show her stuff no matter how many things she breaks. Okay. That's just me. So you guys all think that I should forgive her, but what But what if I forgive her? And what if I don't tell her secrets, but what if she does something else to me? Should I forgive her then too? No. Yes. 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 It depends on what, it, what she does. So I should just keep forgiving her forever? No. No, yes. no you're you have to forgive her seven times. Seven times 70. Seven times 70. Well, you, guys, you guys sound like you know a thing or two. So let's kind of see what the Bible says about it. So first we're going to go to you guys, um, Team AK. Do you guys have a Bible? Yeah, we have a Bible. We have Team AK. Actually, we have Prince K. Warrior and Tommy K. PK. 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 And we got no name. Karate King. We're going to call Karate King. We got Team, team Na. And we got Team Karate Kid. No. My name is Karate King. Yeah, you're KK, and he's he. So we got PK. So PK and Nah. All right. So no, we got A. We got A. No, we got A N and we got PK. Our name is Frank. Okay. We have. Okay, everybody, go to Matthew chapter six. Okay, so 
So, but what is what is it called in the Bible? Do you know what it's called in the Bible? No. In the Bible, they call it the Lord's Prayer, right? So, uh, the disciple said, teach us how to pray. And then this is what Yeshua taught him, right? So, this is the prayer that Yeshua gave to his disciples and his apostles. So, don't you think it's pretty important? So, I want us to focus on verse 12. You guys, uh, team... Team PK, tell me what verse 12 says. Verse 12 from, from Matthew chapter 6. He shook the Bible on me. Oh. And forgive us on our Matthew debts. Matthew chapter 1. Forgive us our debts. Chapter 6. Forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors, right? Debtors. debtors. So, debtors. Even, even after, so this is the end of the Lord's Prayer, right? Even after... Yeshua added to this and told us to forgive people again. So I think out of this prayer, he really wants us to focus on forgiving people. But not just to forgive people. We need to know that whatever forgiveness we give to people is the same forgiveness we're going to get back. Who said that? One of you guys said that. Good job, Aria. So what scripture do we know about giving something and getting a return? There's a scripture we always talk about. Well, those are uncomfortable. That's not the scripture, when you, but... When you set a stumbling block... Stumbling block? Uh-huh. Set up, please. When you set a stumbling block plan, they're gonna, is the rock's going to stumble on you. That when you does. set a pillar for your neighbor, you'll fall into your own pillar. Yeah, that is, that is scripture. What's the other one? What? What? You, well, you, you, you reap what you sow. That's the one I was but that's a good idea. Yes, now what? Be nice and gentle. Yeah, that's right. We have to be nice and we have to be gentle, right? So you, you reap what you sow. So if I'm sowing forgiveness, what am I going to get back? So forgiveness. Forgiveness, right? If I'm sowing unforgiveness, what am I going to get back? Sowing I'm going to get back unforgiveness, right? So now let's go to Matthew. Uh, chapter 6 again still because he continues so he tells the Lord prayer and then he goes back to forgiveness in verse uh, 14 and 15 so Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 and 15 Team PK for if ye forgive men their trespasses your heavenly Father will also forgive you but if ye forgive not men their trespasses neither will your Father forgive your trespasses do you think it's important that the Almighty forgives our trespasses yeah. you think it's important Nala mm -hmm. who thinks it's not important raise your hand it's very important it's very important right so it makes sense that if we are not giving out forgiveness, why should we get it back? So my situation with my friend, um, the scriptural thing for me to do is what? Forgive. Forgive her. Yes, Ariel. Is this an actual thing or not? No, it's not an actual thing. <laughs> but you guys still gave me great advice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Stop rocking the chair, man. So. So if I forgive her, does that mean that I have to forget what she did to me? Yes. Yes, it means I have to forget it? Yes. But if I forget it, will I be able to remember not to tell her prayer, I mean, tell her secrets anymore? Yes. Don't bite on the table. Ew. Ew. I was biting on my leg. <laughs> so, if, but okay, so like, let's say I forget, I forget what she did, right? But then I'm going to tell her secrets again, and you guys told me not to tell her any more secrets. I should tell her more secrets. What did you say, Wilson? Better don't forget. Better don't forget. Okay, Amir. Don't forget. Your name's not Amir. Your name's not Kung Fu King. Karate. Karate King. Sorry. So Karate King. Should I should I forget? No. Okay. No. Right. So you're right. I shouldn't forget. But listen, listen. But we need to give her an opportunity. To show us that she is attentive from her behavior. And the way we want Yah to give us space to show us that we repented from our sins, right? So I, I you're right, I don't have to tell anyone to this right now, but eventually I should give her an opportunity to tell me to, to for me to tell her secrets because how will I know she really repented if she never has an opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So I agree with you guys. I don't have to forget. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 through 22. Verse 21? Verse 21 through 22. Okay, Team PK in the back, got it. With this one, I have 21. Oh, yeah. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often? How often? Often. Often. How often oh. my brother sin and exactly. and I forgive him mm-hmm. till seven times. Yeshua saith unto him, I say unto thee, seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, that's it. That's it. I so I times. say not unto thee until seven times, but unto seventy times seven times. Who can do the math? Who can tell me what 70 times 7 is? Give me a calculator. 539. No. 140? No. 140? No. 140? Okay. 70. Right? Sit down. And it's 7 at the bottom. 7 times 0 is yes. 210. 7 times 0. 210. 7 times 0 is 10. Zero. Anything times zero is zero. It's two hundred ten. No. Two hundred ten. Zero. It's zero, right? So you said seventy. No. You said seventy. Seventy times seventy. So seven zero times seven. So seven times zero is zero. What is seven times seven? Forty nine. Four hundred ninety. Four hundred and ninety. That's right. So we should be forgiving our brothers with, and sisters. With, but the Bible says you should forgive 70, 77, 77. Well, I'm just reading what's right here. And he says until 70 times 7, which is 490. Yeah. So. And you see your brother? Yeah, but how weird, how weird it is. You know, the Bible says it says que vas a perdonar a tu hermana 77 veces. 77 por 7 veces. Yes. 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 Right. So does that mean that I have to forgive my friend 490 times for the exact same thing? Yes. No. Yes. You mean yes? Yes. Because yes. that's what the Bible says. Well, I think that if someone truly repented for somebody, they wouldn't keep doing it. So I'm going to slap you, right? Forgive me. Never. Yep. I'm going to slap you. Forgive me. No. Yes. I'm going to slap you. But we should forgive them in all the different ways that they may transgress against us. Do you think that we will sin against the Almighty more than 490 times yes. in our life? Yes. 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 I think it's very easy to do that in a lifetime. There are sins that we're committing that we don't even know about, right? I don't right. commit 495. Okay. But do you think even after we are continuing to be our best, right? You're continuing to be the best Namba. You're continuing to be the best Wilson. You're continuing to be the best Kamari. You're continuing to be the best Mayor. You're continuing to be the best Ariel, right? If we're continuing and to be our best and the best yes, and the best Sahara that we can be, do you think that the Almighty will still continue to forgive us even after we've transgressed against him 490 times? Yes. Hopefully, right? 
Mm-hmm. So this is why it's important to forgive others. Because whatever you give, you will receive. Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. You have a teammate. Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. I'm going to pray. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. Their verse 2 is partially cut out because somebody ripped the Bible. So I'll let you guys read Matthew chapter 7, verse 2. They want to know. Um, our For Bible has the same words too. We were just like reading, trying to figure out which. For with, for with what judgment ye judge it, good, ye shall be judged, and with what me- measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Right. So whatever judgment, right? So my friend, she told my secret. Turn around. She told my secret, right? I passed judgment on her, right? Kamari, stop. Your seat is behind you with your feet on the floor. So I passed judgment on her, right? And I was like, I'm not going to be your friend again. I'm not going to tell any more secrets. I'm just not going to deal with her, right? That same judgment, when she transgressed against me, that same judgment is going to come back on me. If I don't want the Almighty to be harsh with me like that, should I be harsh with other people? Yes, Nava. We should be nice. That's right, baby. So nothing any of our friends can do to us is going to be as bad as we can and will do to Almighty. Yet and still he forgives us. Why does he keep forgiving us? Does anybody know why the Almighty keeps forgiving us? Because he loves us. It's too big. And there's not enough people to send against him that he can't love us anymore. Why do you think the Almighty continues to love us and forgive us? Because we are his creation. Because we're his creation. Because we're trying to do our best, and when we sin, then we're just like, okay, well, we did this, we did everything. And then we see our actions and we repent, and he knows that soon we'll repent and we'll understand the understanding. But if he didn't forgive us and just send judgment on us, then we wouldn't understand what we did, and then. And then we would die, pretty much. Okay. And that's kind of what I was going to say, right? Yes, Nala. Yeah. Because if he did send judgment on all of us, like, you would see hail and bricks come falling down from the sky on our neighbors. <laughs> right. So, like, kind of like what Kamari says, shorthandedly, he wants to show us, right, how we should conduct ourselves with each other. So if he isn't showing us forgiveness, we're not going to know how to show other people forgiveness because he wants us to behave like him. Go to Mark chapter 11, verse 25. No, they could be just do this. They're going to cheat. They're going to use a little thingy. It doesn't matter what they use. Mark they chapter what? 11, verse 25. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. Mark. 11, 25. Team, team, and Ann has it. You need to stop. And when ye stand praying, forget, forget if ye have out, out against any stuff that I mean, any that your father also which is in heaven may give you, you your transgress. Yes. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you of your trespasses. What would happen if we did not get forgiveness of our sins? Oh, it would come no. back to us. Yeah. Good job, Nava. Kimari, what would, come, what would happen if we did not forgive? Okay, um, Wilson. You have an opportunity to still get a treat at the end of class. You need to turn around. There's no reason for you to be turned around backwards. Kamara, you need to keep your feet off of their fin. I'm going to get a double treat. Okay. And I'm okay with that as long as you're listening in class. Okay. Ariel, what would happen if we did not get forgiveness of our sins? We would go to uh, 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 and like fire of hate. Right. We get to go back to up. Okay. Who else has an answer if we didn't get forgiveness of sins? Let's see what happens to some people in the Bible who aren't getting who didn't get forgiveness. Jeremiah chapter fourteen. 
I think the most I was really mad when he first created the world and everything just went bad and he had a sweater all over again. Okay, now started. we're going to Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. Mm. Jeremiah chapter 11. Ooh, I was just at it. And he 11 chapter 14. 14 a.m. is there already. Let, 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 I, I love Wilson read. You don't love Wilson read at all. We were here already. Man, she beat you like 20 minutes ago. Ask <laughs> them. Who had the hand up first? Okay. Yeah, but she, she was looking at the paper the whole time. No, it was, know. she literally had to jump three chapters forward to be there. It wasn't that. Ah, okay. okay, go ahead. You ready to read? <laughs> Jeremiah. Chapter what? Chapter 11, oh, verse 14. Okay, okay, where is it? I'll find it. Actually, I think that's wrong. Read verse, let me see what verse uh, 11 says. Yep, read verse 11. So, Matthew, Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore, God said. Yep, that's saying. No, that's the Lord before the, I will bring evil upon them which this have not upon them <laughs> I'm really to be able to escape and thou this shall cry unto me I will not hearken hearken unto them Right, so this is just further explaining that he is so mad at them, right? So nobody wants to be there because I asked you guys who wanted the Almighty to be mad at them like that. And nobody raised their hand. Wait, wait, Zahara, sit down. So if nobody wants to be on the bad side of the creator of the whole universe, then we have to do the things that will keep us on the good side. And one of those things to keep us on the good side is forgiveness, right? There is nothing that our friends have done to us that is worse than we will ever do to him. So if he can forgive us for all the mean things we do to him, if he can forgive us for all the sins that we commit, then we should be able to forgive each other. Yes. So can you Come on now. Keep it together. We're almost done. Psalms chapter 103. Dude. Psalms chapter 103. Don't fire him. Forgive him. Hey, everybody say Shalom. 103. 103. 103 verse 10. I will say verse. But you're annoying me. Forgive him. As I was the quiet one. You see the way he used that on me? He told me to forgive him there for being noisy because he was quiet. Forgive him. I was the quiet one. Okay, so since we're talking about forgiveness, I will forgive Amir this time. So you're going to read verse 10, verse 11, verse 12, verse 13, and verse 14. Okay, hey, what's your name? He have no death with us. Uh, he have not dealt with us. Uh, our sins nor reward us according to our iniquities. For as... The heavens is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth pity his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our friend, he remembered that we are just. That's it. That's it. Good job. And Kamara, you yeah. mentioned that earlier, right? You said he re- he knows that we're just human, right? But it says he has not dealt with us after our sins, right? He has not rewarded us for our iniquity. So he's giving us grace and mercy and forgiveness, and those are the same things. That we should forgive, that we should give to other people, right? Because what we give to other people, what we judge, how we judge, what's going to be judged unto us? Uh, what we do. Do the we same thing. Yourself. So let's take a minute and think of someone who we haven't forgiven. And this week, we will work on. Oh, I know who's 
for you guys. I know exactly for you guys. I'll bring it up in a minute. And this week you're going to work on forgiveness towards them. Forgiveness, are you listening, Wilson? Because forgiveness is a serious matter. Because without forgiveness, we can't make it into the kingdom, right? And who here wants to get into the kingdom? So then we all need to be forgiving, right? So... Okay. So, since it's such a serious matter and we need so much of it, in like manner, we should give so much forgiveness. So... Raise your hand if you've thought of who you haven't forgiven this week and who you're going to work on forgiving. Okay, Amir, who did you say you have to forgive? Mm -hmm. Do you know Wilson? Nava, who do you have to forgive? Zazie. You're going to forgive Zazie? That's good. Kamari, who are you going to forgive? Kamari, I'm going to... Zazie, what, is the, what did a two-year-old do to them? She ripped all my air, my nice airplanes. I literally just blew I had them like in the She said she didn't do it. And, and she just walked in there and I was like, rip. I was like, oh no. And she just grabbed in the phone, rip. I was like, seriously. As long as she didn't rip Goldie, we're okay. I bring the oh. airplane. I need to freaking Zazie. What is that? Y'all, why are they putting all this stuff on a two-year-old? I need to forgive Zazie. What is Zazie? She says you need to forgive her. You don't want to forgive Arielle. <laughs> and you don't want to work on forgiving her. Okay, but if you don't want to work on forgiving Arielle, then you're not going to get forgiveness. Oh, I know. Okay, Amir, who, who are you going to work on forgiving? Uh, Zazie. I think you guys should work on forgiving that little girl that that, uh, that doesn't listen to you guys. Uh, she's already going to like myself. I already kicked her already. I already kicked her already. Okay, but... You should work on forgiving her. So this week, Amir and Wilson, you're going to work on forgiving your next, is she your next door neighbor? You're going to forgive on forgiving your next door neighbor. Okay, leave her, leave her on. All right. And today, today's scripture remembrance is Mark 1125. Is he ready for us to be Yeah, I will write it, please. Mark 1125 says, and when you stand praying, forgive. Hey, you're being rude to me. Yeah, you're being rude to me, so you're going to get a treat. You know? And when you stand praying, forgive. If ye, for, if ye have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you of your trespasses. So that is what you need to remember this week. If we sit and I'll put in an extra treat. No! We need an extra treat. We're you don't, you'll get an extra treat. When we're done with class. Miss, yes. can I say something? Yes. You have to turn my ear. And, and, ah! <laughs> so this week, I told you our project that we're going to be doing is our forgiveness change. So listen up. Are you listening? This one is very easy. All you need is like a writing utensil, a marker, some crowns. Some strips. You're gonna cut these in strips. Of, uh, this is just uh, construction paper. Sit down. You don't need anything but to be quiet and listen. Thank you. So you need strips of paper, right? And glue or adhesive of some type. And what you're gonna do, besides listen, uh oh, fans a little more. As you're going to write down. All the things that the Almighty has forgiven you for, right? So I'm going to read off the things that the Almighty has forgiven me for. So not being honest, so lying. He's forgiven me for being mean. He's for not. He's forgiven me for not being giving. He's forgiven me for jealousy. Listen, he's forgiven me for strife. He's forgiven me for being lukewarm. He's forgiven me for unforgiveness, for not loving, for making crude jokes, and for lack of faith. That's a lot of things that he's What's forgiven. Lukewarm and lukewarm. Lukewarm is like when you're not really serving the Lord and you're not really in the world. Like you're just kind of like in the middle. He doesn't like that. He either wants you to serve him. You're or on the fence. Yeah, you're on the fence. He either wants you to serve him or don't serve him. He don't like lukewarm. So, yes. Oh, and what? 
Making a crude joke is making a, a, a rude or mean or nasty joke, right? Yeah, they're going so, to have to Listen, sit up the right way. Yeah. space. So here's a lot of things, listen, that I have needed forgiveness for. So for however long that I can continue making this chain of all the things that I've been forgiven for, here is how forever long I should be forgiving people my friends, my family, my neighbors, my enemies who transgress against me. Yeah, you're right. So then don't you think that I should have that much forgiveness for others? Like my the, my neighbor and Zahara and Ariel, right? People I want to next, next time I'm just going to make, next year I'm just going to make sure I don't do nothing bad so I can be cool to all the people. Oh, I don't think that's how it works. So again, all you need is some piece of paper. So I want you guys to back to the back row. You guys need to move up so you guys can share the piece of paper. Okay. There's no listen. We're not going to fight. Keep the Bible going. Are you going to be cool? Are you going to sit on your butt? You're going to sit on the butt. Yeah, you guys can take my chair too. And I'll put on, I'll put on some music. I'm going to turn it to a sandwich. The sandwich. You already put one without the head. Amari, now that I'm sitting on my chair, you're supposed to come in. Hey, Buzz, hey, Buzz. So, are you listening? We're going to share, right? This does not belong to anybody. Do you understand? Yeah, no, There's I'm plenty of strips. Amari, go ahead and cut that fan off or turn it. How about I get no green orange and yellow, green or blue? You're going to make a pattern? It doesn't matter. There's plenty of strips here. There's so many I'm different strips. Get no so, blue. we're going to share, right? Because we don't want to have to work on getting forgiven for sharing today. So, we're going to share and we're not going to be rude. Okay? So, what you're going to start off doing is listening. Okay. Because we can just sit here until it's time for you guys to go and not do nothing. Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Do you think they're ready to listen? Should I forgive them for being talking yes. and rude? Yes. yes. Okay. Now I'm not going to give them to her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, I, I'm not going to fight with you guys to do a project. Okay. So you guys are going to get one strip of paper at a time. How many strips of paper can you have at a time? One. Okay. And you're going to write on your strip of paper what you have been forgiven for. Then, once you have, say, about maybe five strips that you can complete it, then you're going to start making strips. So I'm going to show you based off of what I already have. You make your first ring. Then you're going to put glue on your second one. I would say maybe put, like, one inch of glue. You're going to take it and make sure your writing is on the outside and you're going to glue it, right? Just like this. Make sure your writing is on the outside and not the inside, right? So again, how many strips of paper are you going to get at a time? One. 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 Oh, that's right. Can I get I'm gonna, one now? I'm going to put the crowns up here on the table. Can I get one now? Yes, take one. Okay, what should I get? Do you mind? And you can use whatever color you want to. I'm finding glues. Right. I'm going to get the green. This is like blue light. You want a green? Make sure you see what it's bright. Oh, this new one's too out. I'm going to make up another color like here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Write the things you did that you got forgiveness for. Yeah. What are the different things that you have done that you got forgiveness for? Nothing. Huh? You don't need the blue, remember? You don't need the blue. Were you listening to the instructions? Miss, I just put it for this. You have to write. So what's something you did that you got forgiveness for? I said, ah, uh, ah, uh, you're not listening. I said, once you have about five, then you will start doing it. So once you have about five rings that you've done, then you can start doing it. What's something you've done wrong now but that you got forgiveness for? Are you allowed to use the same color? Yes, you can. Mean this? Nine. So I want you to write me this. Okay. What's we'll the next color? Ma'am. Um, Ariel and I, when you guys clean this out, and I told you to put the glue sticks in the green thing, there's no glue sticks in the green thing. Where are the other glue sticks? No. These two didn't go to me. Miss, we are using no green. 